This is question 25. College Board is asking for the x-coordinate of the solution of a system of equations. And since this is a calculator question, there is a quick method of answering. I can write this in matrix form, since I have the variables in the same order for both equations, equals a constant by itself on the other side. I can write a matrix of the coefficients 2.4, negative 1.5, 0.3, 1.6, 0.5, and negative 1.3. And then if I ask for a reduced row echelon form, reduced RREF, on my graphing calculator, which will do these matrix operations, I have a 2 by 3 matrix with 2.4, negative 1.5, 0.3, 1.6, 0.5, and negative 1.3. And if I quit out of there and go back into matrix, and on my TI-83 or 84, I go right to matrix math, scroll down to choice B on this particular version is reduced row echelon form, and then matrix names, I hit, hit the name from the names list. I can't just type it from the alpha keyboard. Reduced row echelon form gives me this matrix. 1, 0, 0, 1, which you'll always get those two columns on a 2 by 3, followed by the solution, negative 0.5 and negative 1. If I convert this back to a system by undoing what I did to go to a matrix, this means 1x plus 0y is just x, equals on the right hand side, negative 0.5, and 0x plus 1y is y, equals negative 1. They're asking for the x coordinate. So that would be choice A. This is my favorite way to solve systems of equations when I have the calculator, particularly if they're already in standard form. x then y equals a constant. Alternatively, since we don't always have a graphing calculator, and since it's important to have these skills, I'm going to multiply through by 10 because I'm not fond of decimals. Decimals lead to careless errors. I don't like Carol Sarah's. So that's 24x minus 15y equals 3. And 16x plus 5y equals negative 13. I'm looking for x. So if I multiply the second equation through by 3, 16 times 3 is 48. 5 times 3 is 15. Negative 13 times 3 is negative 39. And I'll just copy my first equation. 48x minus 15y equals 3. And I chose to triple the second equation because now when I add these, the y terms will cancel. So we're out of 48 there. That's 24. Always check your clerical skills because we often get distracted. And I copied the wrong number there. But this is 24x minus 15y equals 3. So I can keep going. 48 plus 24 would be 72x. 15y minus 15y is 0y. Negative 39 plus 3 is negative 36. To get x by itself, I divide both sides by 72. x equals negative 36 over 72 is negative 1 half which is, again, choice A. Alternatively, I could have solved it a third way. And I'm going to keep the decimals because some of us are comfortable with decimals. I'm not. If I substitute in for y, oh dear, 0.5y equals negative 1.6x minus 1.3. I'm going to triple this and substitute it in for 1.5y. So 1.5y equals negative 4.8x minus 3.9. If I substitute this expression in for y right here, for 1.5y here, I have 2.4x minus this quantity, negative 4.8x minus 3.9 equals 0.3. And we'll see that this is the same computation I did here, just arrived at it in a different manner. 2.4x minus negative plus 4.8x 
minus negative plus 3.9 equals 0.3. So that is 7.2x. If I subtract 0.3 from both sides, I get plus 3.6 equals 0. Subtract 3.6 and divide by 7.2, and it's the same computation I did here. In any case, I get choice A, negative 0.5 which is the correct answer. Make sure you're good at solving systems of equations then, that you can do it several different ways, especially learn or review doing it on the calculator using matrices. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.